Hello. In this video, I, I, I want us to look at how you can generate live data from Google Sheets for uh, using Excel Power Query tool. The first step is to create your Excel sheet or you can either go through um, a form. Here, I'm going to create a sheet that contains my data and my data is data collected um, from the field, my data. Then enter this data on the top row. So the top row will have my my headers. So I would say uh, by default, Excel is going to bring in a timestamp on column A on the SFR sheet. So uh, when it's loaded into Microsoft Excel. So the first step is um, so I'm going to enter here as the ID. For example, name. age date of birth this is um citizen data date of birth uh say gender i'm going to uh include something like um uh say uh, uh citizen uh cit citizenship yeah, i'm going to put this as um say random uh numbers auto generated up to six then the name here, I'm going to call this John, Mary, uh, Joseph. Let's say we have another one called Abd uh, Abdi Noor, for example. I'll have another person called um, Kamau. And say the sixth person, I call that person Wasike. The ages I'm going to enter randomly, just for example, for, for the for, for us to guide us in extracting this data live uh, to Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to put the ages here. See seventy. Uh, okay, if I have the age, so I don't need uh, the date of birth. So I put uh, see on to delete this column. Uh, delete uh, column D, edit, then delete column D. Then the gender there would be male, uh, female. This is male, and this male, male, and male. So I'll put here, say, the citizenship here is John, is a Ugandan. Say Mary is Kenyan, Ugandan, Kenyan, 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 like that. Now, once I have this, I need to give a title to my spreadsheet. I'm going to call my title My Data. Now, for us to make sure that this data can be extracted to Excel, we first need to make this sheet shareable. So to make this sheet shareable, go to uh, share and make sure that get a shareable link. Then make sure that people are able to edit this. Then after that, we now click done. The next step is now get the download link. To do that, you go to file, then download as comma separated values. Not really that we need this file, but we just want to use this to get the, uh, the, 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 the link that will be used on Power Query. So I'm going to click OK. Then from there, it will download my file. So on Mozilla, it comes here as part of the downloads. So I'll click there. I'll pick this, then say copy download link. So once I'm done, I'll go back to Excel, open my Excel. From the data tab, go to either, you can either use get data. Excel can fetch data from many uh, sources, but for this case, we want to get data from the web. You can also use uh, the shortcut here. So I'll go to uh, get data from other sources from the web. So from there, the menu comes up. Then I paste that link here, and I could go with basic. Then click OK. 
Even if we have a sheet here, Excel is going to create another new sheet where it's going to paste this data. So you can see um, the Power Query editor is going to load shortly. So this is now you can see a preview of the data that we had from uh, Google Sheets. You can either edit if I wanted to create new sheets, uh, new columns or um, exclude some other columns or perform calculated columns. But for this case, I just want to load. You can close. So load this so that it loads your data to Microsoft Excel. So from the on the right side, you'll see that my query here has been loaded. And it gives you, uh, you can allocate a name to your query by renaming this. So I call this uh, my data query. Say my data like that. Now what happens is this data can be refreshed anytime when you go to the properties under Excel. You can see that your data is refreshed by default. Um, uh, enable background refresh. But you can also say you can refresh after every 60 minutes or any time that you want. Then click OK. Then I click OK here. Now, suppose we add a seventh record to this so that we have uh, seven. And the seventh record is David, aged 40, uh, is male, and say Ugandan, like that. When we go back to Microsoft Excel, you'll find that. Um, our file here is still reading the sixth record. Now we can either wait for it to refresh, refresh it from here, or use the refresh tool here where you can refresh. And the seventh record is going to appear here. Thanks for watching. My name is David Kandir.